Hello and welcome to another video of Tech Latest, video series, Automation with Ansible AWX. So far in this course, we've provided you with a high-level overview of Ansible and Ansible AWX. In addition, we've delved into Ansible Tower and conducted a detailed comparison between AWX and Tower. TechLatest.net offers a pre-configured virtual machine solution for Ansible with AWX, readily available on top cloud platforms, including Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services AWS, and Microsoft Azure. Additionally, this solution receives regular updates and patches, ensuring that you have easy access to the latest version whenever you deploy it. Today, in this video we're going to show you how to provision and connect to Ansible AWX, the open source alternative to Ansible Tower, VM offering provided by TechLatest.net on Google Cloud Platform, GCP. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functioning Ansible AWX environment up and running. So, let's get started. Open TechLatest Ansible AWX listing on GCP Marketplace. To do so, go to TechLatest.net website. Navigate to Products and Support page. Search for Ansible. Click on Ansible AWX. On this Ansible AWX overview page, click Launch Now on GCP button. It will take you to the product listing page on GCP Marketplace. You can find all the details here. Just scroll down and read the details. Like, what is the operating system used, default machine type, pricing etc. To deploy this solution, click on this Get Started button here. It will ask you to log in page if you are not logged in already. As I am already logged in, it's taking me to the agreement page. On this page, check and confirm the project in which you want to deploy the solution. If you want to change the project, you can do it from here. Accept the terms and agreement and click on Agree button. It will show you the successful pop-up message. Here click on Deploy button. It will take you to the VM's configuration page. On this page, give a name to your deployment. Select a zone where you want to launch the VM, such as this East one. You can select different machine type from here. Optionally change the number of cores and amount of memory. This defaults to 1 vCPUs and 3.75 GB RAM. Optionally increase the boot disk size if you want. Also you can change its type. The default comes with standard persistent disk type with 20 GB size. Optionally change the network name and subnetwork names. Be sure that whichever network you specify has ports 22 for SSH connection, 3389 for RDP, and 80 for HTTP exposed. Provide the IP address or IP range. I am giving here 0.0.0.0/0. This IP range contains all the possible IP addresses. Double check all the configuration once. And click deploy when you are ready. Ansible AWX, open source Ansible Tower alternative, will begin deploying. Wait for few seconds here. A summary page displays when the compute engine is successfully deployed. Click on the instance link to, to go to the instance page. This is instance overview page. Here you can find all the information about the instance. Like machine type, disk, public and private IP addresses etc. From this top menu, you can find various options. Like stop and start the instance. If you want to make any changes in the instance configuration, you can stop the VM from here. Once it is stopped, click on edit option. The page will show in edit mode. Now you can make the changes. For example, if you want to change the machine type or want to enable HTTPS, you can do it in edit mode. Once done, save the changes and restart the VM. Here we have SSH option to connect to the VM. Click on it. This will open SSH window in a browser. 
Go to the Ubuntu user using sudo su ubuntu command. Navigate to home directory with cd home ubuntu. Run sudo password ubuntu command to set the password for ubuntu user. This VM comes with three ports open. You can SSH to the VM. Like this here. You can also access the VM's GUI environment using RDP connection from Windows machine and using Remina from the Linux machine. And we can access the AWX user interface via browser on port 80. We will need a WX admin user password to access this UI. So, we already saw the SSH connectivity. Now let's go to RDP. To connect using RDP via Windows machine, first note the external IP of the VM from VM details page from here. Then from you local Windows machine, go to start menu in the search box type and select remote desktop connection. In the remote desktop connection wizard, copy the external IP and click connect. Accept it. This will connect you to the VM's desktop environment. To authenticate, provide Ubuntu as the user ID and the password set before in the terminal for Ubuntu user. Click OK. Now you are connected to out of the box, your own Ansible AWX VM's desktop environment via Windows machine. You can access the AWX setup files by going to Home, Ubuntu, Setup Directory. Here we have a WX setup files. Till now, we saw SSH and RDP connectivity. Now let's see how to access the Ansible AWX GUI via browser. For that let's go the SSH terminal first. Ansible AWX is provided as the Docker installation. We can check the status of running containers by entering sudo docker ps a command in the terminal. You can see three containers are listed which are up and running. AWX generate the default password for admin user during the setup installation. To get the default password we will run this command here. sudo docker logs tools underscore awx underscore one which is the awx container name, pipe grep, admin password. Now we have the awx admin user password with us. To access the awx GUI, copy the public IP address of the VM from VM's details page. Open new browser window and paste the public IP page hit enter. It will show you a WX login screen. Provide the admin in username box. Copy paste the admin user password from the terminal. From here, and log in. Here we have the AWX user interface. User interface makes it easier to manage and automate tasks using Ansible playbooks and other options as we all know that Ansible itself is a command line tool. So with a WX GUI you can manage and automate tasks easily. You can see all these options in the left pane, like projects, inventories, credentials, hosts, access, views schedule etc. We will have a separate video where we will walk you through all these options. You must change the default password for admin user as security measures by going to admin profile page and entering new password. To change the admin password, in left pane click on users. Click on admin user. Click on edit and enter the new password and save the changes. Make a note of this password. If you lost it then it will be difficult to log in to the interface. One thing I wanted to share here. Suppose for any reason, if Ansible AWX web interface is not coming then please check the container status by running sudo docker ps a command in terminal. If the output shows containers in exited state then please restart the container by using this command. sudo docker start containers name. Wait for few seconds. Now access the Ansible AWX web interface from browser. This is how you can provision and use the tech latest Ansible AWX offering from GCP Marketplace. 
In our next video, we will walk you through the steps to provision and connect to tech latest Ansible AWX offering on Amazon Web Services AWS. Thank you for joining. Keep tuning for more videos.